Well, this morning we're checking in with our friends from The Big Show on WQIK. 99.1, they are joining us with a look at some Top Docker stories on this Thursday morning. Robbie, John, and Tony. Hey, good morning. How are you guys? Happy Friday Eve, good as we call it. All right, so there's this interesting know, way right? that they are letting people get out of tickets in China. Have you heard about this? You basically just have to go online, <laughs> post an apology on what you did, long, did wrong, and done. They drop it. What do you think? I like it. <laughs> I'd do it in a heartbeat to get out of that fine. Are you kidding me? Can I get it retroactive to 1977 <laughs> I when I started driving? <laughs> I know. If that's all it takes. I'll confess to whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, go ahead and make a man, zone up to it, and boom, it goes away. Gosh, has that only worked in so many that's other right. corners of my life? We should do more life. of that anyway, I think. So um, <laughs> there's this new study that suggests that if you make it 20 years in a marriage, not if you've been married 20 times, Robbie. <laughs> then you're happier than a newlywed. Hey, mister. He's one to talk. <laughs> hey, pot, Mr. Kettle, Mr. Pot. Yeah, Mr. Kettle, Mr. Pot, Mr. Pot, Mr. Kettle. <laughs> hey, I'd like you to know, sir, that I'm on my 25th year. Yeah, listen to that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, I really told, and I told her, awesome. if she leaves, I'm going with her. <laughs> right. So, Robbie, you know, based on this study that they did, do you now feel like you have found the happiness, like more happiness than newlyweds? No, to be quite honest, I'm, oh. I've been left so many times, I just feel like it's going to happen again. Oh. But I'm going with her. It don't, it don't, it, listen, I'm not leaving. She'd have to call somebody to take me out. I've been married 30 years, and I believe it totally. When we were newlyweds, you know, and then, and then the kids come around, and all of a sudden you have to, you, you jostle, and you have to become mom and dad. But then when you get the kids up and out, uh, once that once that's done, you're back to being the newlyweds again. So my wife and I are that way right now. Oh, they'll be back. I think, you're right. I think you're right, John. He's because projecting. I can't get rid of one of them anyway. <laughs> I, I think you're right, John, because at the 20 year mark, you know the kids are grown, they're on their own, and you have time for yourselves as a yep. couple, which is so important. Yes, indeed. And do you think it's because you start to get to know each other so well, John, that you kind of finally settle into, like, we really know each other? Yeah, I think okay. so. That's exactly right. I think that study was uh, pretty spot on, at least in my life. All right. All right. Well, I have two I'm years single, to go, so, so this is encouraging for me. We're at 18 years <laughs> oh, this year. Oh, good for you. So, okay, so what you do you think? You can do it, Jen. You can do it. Oh, yeah, I know. He's, I, I am blessed, man. He is a sweetheart. So, um, you know, we, we've heard about boxed wine, boxed liquor. What do you think about this idea? Apparently, it's going to be a thing. Thumbs up. <laughs> Whatever it comes in, I'll take it. If it comes in a thermos, Tony's happy. If it comes in a, if it comes in an old can of root beer, she's happy. It doesn't matter. There ain't no swirling around and swishing it in her mouth. She just chugs yeah, it. Yeah, pretty much a, slap the bladder and just keep on drinking. <laughs> slap the bladder and keep on drinking. Now, boys, do not pick on my girl Tony. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, oh, yeah. from WQIK, thanks. Good one, you guys. You're leaving? Oh, we'll be right back. Later, Bruce. <laughs>